In these problems, we're dealing with finding where mixed numbers are on a number line, and also dealing with rulers, which is a pretty similar kind of problem. First of all, just as a reminder, what a mixed number is, it's got this integer or whole number part, and then it's got a fraction part together. So this is 8 and 5 eighths. So that's a mixed number. And the question here is, which letter represents 8 and 5 eighths on this number line? Well, 8 and 5 eighths is something bigger than 8 and something less than 9, so it's going to be in here somewhere, and well, that's where all the letters are, I guess. So, although we could probably rule out S, because that would, looks like it would be 9 exactly. The trick here when you've got a fractional part is to figure out what the scale is on the line first. If we're lucky, it will be eighths. And the way to figure that out is to take a whole one, from 7 to 8, that's one, and count how many marks there are. And I, I start with the one right after the 7, and I count all the way up to and including the one on the 8. So let's see how many we get here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are being divided up into eighths. There are eight spaces in there. So really, all we have to do to get to 5, 8, and 5 eighths is start at the 8 and count up 5 eighths. There's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths. So it would be right here, and that is P. So the answer to that one is P represents 8 and 5 eighths on the number line. Let's look at this problem with the ruler here. It says, how long is the segment to the nearest sixteenth of an inch? And the first thing I would want to do in solving this problem is figure out what scale are we at here. What are these tiniest lines? And you may know already that, you know, the half is going to be right here, and these are the one quarter and the three quarter. But if you want to really figure out what the smallest line is, you would do that same trick I did up with the number line. You could count them all, starting right here, and going all the way up to the one, and including the one. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So these smallest marks are sixteenths. And when I count all the marks in a whole inch, I get sixteen of them. So if we want to figure out how long this tiny little line is, well, I'm going to draw a line down here so we know exactly where it's pointing. And then I'm going to count the numbers here, and I remember that these are sixteenths. One, two, three, sixteenths. So this is three sixteenths of an inch. All right, one more. And this one's a little trickier. It, said use, it says use a standard inch ruler to find the mark that is halfway between 2 and 5 eighths and 3 and 3 eighths. So let me grab my standard ruler here. And let's see. The, this ruler is also broken down into sixteenths. If you were to count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 16 marks here. So every two of those marks would be an eighth, because eighths are are a bigger chunk than sixteenths. So if we're going to find two and five eighths first, well here's the two, and I would count one eighth, two eighths, which is the same as one fourth, three eighths, four eighths, that's the same as one half, and five eighths would be right there. Let me get that perfect. Okay, so there's two and five eighths. And now I want to find three and three eighths, do the same thing. Here's the three, and I've got one, two, three eighths. It's, it's hard to see here, so let's make sure this points directly at it. Yeah, I think that's got it. Okay, there's my three and three eighths. And we want to find the exact halfway point. And um, I guess off the top of my head, I don't know. To figure it out, what I'm going to do is count how many eighths there are between there, and then divide that by two. So if I'm counting up by eighths now, there's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. So between those, there's six eighth inches. So halfway would be three of those. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to count for three more eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths. So it's, that points right to the three inch marker. And that does look pretty much halfway between, although I, I drew it a little bit over. It should be more like that. So the point then that's ha exactly halfway between is a three inch mark. And if you just look at the numbers, that'll make sense. If I were to get up to three inches here, that would be two and eight eighths, which would be one. Two and one is three. Uh, to get there, I'd have to add three eighths of an inch. Here, to get down to three, I would subtract that three eighths of an inch. So I would add uh, or subtract an equal amount to both sides to get from this direction down to the three, from this direction up to the three. So it makes sense. 
Those are some problems with uh, fractional or mixed numbers on the number line and on rulers.